In the 1950s, the models represented 25% of the population. 25% of the women actually looked like that. By the 1980s, you're down to like 9%. And in the 90s, so much of what people see is computer manipulated that we're basically down to fantasy women. I think one of the biggest illusions is that they show unattainable, unrealistic goals. I always felt like I was not a whole person and I was never enough for anyone else. Like no one, I couldn't, no one could love me just as I was. I figured out that if I've been doing my hair and makeup for an hour a day, five days a week since I was 16, now at 40, I've spent almost a year and a half of my life putting on makeup and doing my hair. I didn't feel like very important or valuable. I was a damaged product my whole life. I'm not comfortable with my body. I feel, um, I feel overweight and oftentimes I feel very ugly. If one is always evaluating oneself, by the standards of the male gaze, then one is always going to be just incredibly self-critical. It's kind of senseless. I mean, I mean, it's good to look good and it's good to have a nice body, but that's not the point in life to do your work your entire life to look absolutely perfect and great and wonderful. The point in life is to go out and have fun.